Hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of this core graphics tutorial. If you were this last time, we have see this end just here. We have the gradient being drawn in our table view. Now, you may have noticed that around the borders, all the gradients are showing through. This is two reasons for this. One is because I'm drawing an image that are in property size within the uh, cells. Second of all, is just a general effect of trying to draw a gradient inside a cell. So we want to add a border around the edge of the cells to eliminate this nasty effect. Before I begin, there's one problem pointed out in the tutorial made by Ray when you look about drawing these things. I'll show you a quick example. So you have selected, basically, pretend this isn't here, an almost perfect square. I want to draw from this top left point all around the edges, but there's one thing that happens when we try to use a thing called stroke path, it does this. No, not that. It starts from there. It starts in the middle of your point and draws around. So if we try to draw like straight away using a stroke path, you would see a blank square at the edge of every corner because it starts in the middle of your point five one pixel, it would start at point five and draw. It's it's just a um, annoying thing. So we have to make a little method in our um, common to get around this. It's a very small method, it's very simple, very, very easy. And it's CG rect rect uh, 4 1 px stroke. This is the exact same name as the method in Ray's tutorial. I'm not changing anything. As I said, this is all made from his tutorial. All credit goes to him and his team who made this. It's an absolutely brilliant tutorial. CG rect and rect. It's a very small constructor. Okay. CG rect. Ah, no comma. That's why. Okay, as I said, the pixel start point will be in the middle so we want to account for this and we can't just say start at point 5 we have to do a bit of a tinkering for lack of a better phrase okay so structure and then return cg rect make now for x and y rect dot origin dot x plus point 0.5 uh, rect dot origin oh dear rect dot origin dot y plus point 0.5 so if it's going to start point 0.5 in we're going to do this now you probably wonder why we're adding we're adding plus 5 here because we're going to do this rect dot size dot width minus 1. See there? Because if it's adding 0.5, we're going to start 0.5 in and then x and y, so width and height minus 1. So it'll start exactly at 0, 0.0. Rect dot size dot height, height minus 1. Perfect. Done. So now we have to go into our custom cell custom cell go away okay make a few changes in here so we already have our gradient being drawn so let's add a few more little things now so CG rect a new drawing so we've already got our um, drawing paper rect just the size so we'll draw something else now so CG rect stroke rect equals paper rect so once again the size the bounds it's a new drawing within the bounds uh, what else do we have we had to do stroke rect stroke rect uh, equals rect for pixel stroke and then stroke rect and then CG context stroke stroke rects with 
not there. Stroke for color. Correct. Ah, sorry, this is kind of set. Set stroke color. There we go. Okay, so we're going to pass in now context screen and white color. So we want to draw a stroke around the whole size with white. Then CG context set line width set line width context and one. So the width of the line is going to be one. Why is white color give me an error? Do, 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 do. It shouldn't be a problem. I don't know why it's giving me a warning there, but it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Stroke. Ah. Sorry. Stroke with color. There we go. Color with color. Color with color. There we go. Sorry, I was wondering why it's giving me a warning. There we go. So, color with color. Perfect. That's it up. And CG context. So now it's actually draw it. Context stroke. Uh, stroke rect. Context. And then stroke rect. Done. So now you'll see what it did look like. It used to look like this. You used to have the gradient all showing through. And we rebuild. And there we go. It's now replaced that nasty show through with a solid white border of one pixel all around the application. Okay, so you can see the white border around the edge, but we don't want a white border. We want to have actually a cell separator. So very quickly, we're going to make a another method. What this is going to do is this is going to make a little dimple-like separator between the, the two classes. So into your common.h, make a new method and void draw one pick stroke cg context ref so we're doing our draw no context cg point start point cg point end point and CG color ref color cause stroke. Okay, now like last time, I'm going to write the code out, pause the video, sorry, well, pause the video first, and then write the code out, and then explain it all to you. So, I'll be back to you in one second. Okay, we're back with the uh, draw one pick stroke um, code very quickly same as before we're setting the let me reset the context setting the context again uh, set line cap this is to set the essentially the where the line is going to end we can't have the line ending a, a standard place because we've changed the start point to point 0.5 so it's a another value square so it's going to make a perfect square on the line we've drawn Set color with color, color because we're going to pass the color from different class. Uh, the lines one, move to point half and half with our our um, increased line. Same with the the end point, and then set the path and then restore context. Nothing mad there. Now we have to also now use this code in our um, custom cell. So up into your custom cell. Okay, now underneath this we have to add a bit of code. Now I'm going to copy and paste a bit of code in straight away. It's just to set the start and end point. So there we go. Don't go all mad at me just yet because it's fairly simple. It's just because remember we, um, we've we set our start point and end point now a few times. This is just to fix that little, if you zoomed in before you would have seen a bit of a space between the the line and the end of the cell. This is just to 
fix it with the minus one. This will now bring the height and width in to the exact edge of the view. And then now to call our draw one pick stroke, start point, end point, yep. And then context, of course, uh, start point and end point. And here we're going to use a custom color to go between the cells just so we can identify it easily between them. Okay, make a new one, CG color, CG color ref, uh, custom equals UI color, uh, color width red, 208.0 out of 255. That's why I need a full decoration, but you do copy, paste, copy, paste, and alpha one dot c g color close there's one thing i forgot to tell you earlier i forgot to put it myself was we have to add the height of the str of the color stroke correct because that size that height because we want to draw this between the cells we have to bring it in one pixel okay and then custom build and run And between the cells, you'll see a nice little separator. So around the edges, all the way to the border, we have no gaps, a nice white line. Between the cells, we have a gray and white separator. Nice little line there. And we still have our gradients all through. So I just think it's a great improvement from three plain white cells we had 20 minutes ago. It's easily changeable. I know I didn't explain this amazingly well. I've used graphics before, but it's, it's hard to explain it in non-jargon terms, which I can't do. Hopefully this visual example helped you. The code will be online, so have play with it, play around with it. And I recommend going to the Ray Wendelick site. It's a brilliant resource for um, learning iPhone development. So uh, next video, we're gonna do mess around the background, change this header, do some more tidy up, some more tips and tricks, and hopefully explain a bit better. But stick around, hope you enjoyed, and take it easy. Bye now.